Hello everyone, this is Janae and this is Nene's Crafting Corner. Um, welcome back. If you're new, just welcome to the crazy. Um, today I am working on my first rotation of the two diamond art clubs that I'm working on. The, uh, the one that I posted previously was a Chuck Pinson Space for Reflection by Diamond Art Club and it was a round. This one is a Dominic Davison and it is Crystal Lake Cabin also by Diamond Art Club and it is a square. I'm rotating the two because um, I Not that I get bored of squares, I really, really enjoy squares, and squares actually are my preference. Um, I just uh, I need a little bit of change sometimes. Um, so I've decided to alternate videos of doing Chuck Pinson and the Dominic Davison. So today we are doing the Dominic Davison. Um, not that you guys necessarily care, but I care, so I'm going to point it out. Um, I did do my nails. I changed them from the Halloween to this pinky purple, I'm not sure if it's showing up good enough on the camera, um, sparkle. And they're a lot shorter, a lot more manageable, so yay. I finally just told myself I just needed to get it done or else, you know, yeah, we weren't gonna have any more nails. and. I mean, I did end up starting from scratch because it was way past time to do them, so a lot of them just popped off. Um, but anyway, so I did that the other night, and actually last night. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Okay, on with the diamond painting. I've got to remember <laughs> where I left off. Um, I'm just going to start this. I think this is where I left off. So we're going to do this, um, whatever you want to call it, simple, right here. Um, so today is Wednesday, November 24th. <laughs> um, I just finished work, so I am off until Monday because here in the States it is Thanksgiving tomorrow and... I'm sure I've mentioned it previously, but I'm going to mention it again. Um, I love Thanksgiving and I'm so very excited for it to be here. And I'm very excited for the um, long weekend. Uh, it's going to be so nice not to have to wake up to alarms, but my body does this fun trick <laughs> and I would love to know down below in the comments if your body also does this fun trick so during the week um, my body wants to sleep in so I am a repeat offender I like to hit snooze far too many times and um, I just want to sleep, right? So that's during the week. That's Monday through Friday. Then come the weekend, so Saturday and Sunday, oh, 5 30, 6 o'clock, my body goes, mm, not today, and wakes me up. We're not sleeping in today, it says. <sighs> so I'm going to try and stay up as late as I can tonight so that I can at least pretend that I'm going to sleep in tomorrow. <laughs> so, wish me luck. Um, yeah, so we don't have, I mean, don't really have anything going tomorrow until the afternoon. So we're going to have it, I'm going to try and have a nice lazy morning with my hubby and yeah. Also, if you hear my dog's tags clinking in the background, 
they don't like to hold still. Um, and if you, I don't know how good the microphone on my AirPods is, but if you can hear like a little digging noise, it's blue digging at the, the bed. Um, trying to make it the most comfortable um, that he can. <laughs> so, yay for doggos that don't like to sit still. Um, so yeah, we'll be going to my sister's around two for dinner, or no, excuse me, three. We're probably gonna go there around three. Dinner's at four. And then we're going to Tim's cousins and then we're gonna we're gonna at least visit. I I don't know if I'm gonna actually be able to eat anything. <laughs> Cause the point of Thanksgiving is you gorge yourself, right? <laughs> um so yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat anything because I'm gonna be so full, but we'll see. Um, and then we'll probably go back to my parents for pie. I love pie. I don't know if I've ever mentioned my love for pie, but nah, I love pie. I love pie so much. Um, it's just like the perfect, um, it's just the perfect dessert to me. I don't really care for cake is my jam um yeah so that's our plans for Thanksgiving and then for the rest of the weekend again all of this is we're I'm gonna try and like stay up as late as I can every night so that I can sleep in because I never get to sleep in and I never um okay I shouldn't say never Rarely do I not have to wake up to an alarm, so I'm going to relish that the next four days for sure. Um, we are doing, I know in my last video I mentioned that we might be doing a staycation, and we are. The room was booked this morning, or no, not this morning, yesterday morning, excuse me. Um... So yeah, we are going to do the staycation thing for one night. We're going to go to um, Salt Lake proper, or as we call it here, downtown. <laughs> we're staying in, I don't even know what hotel we're staying in, because I left that all up to Tim. Um, so we'll probably go visit some places downtown. We did a couple of the nicer restaurants because <laughs> I've never actually so I've lived in Utah my whole life we both have um, and I actually do not like downtown I hate driving downtown it it freaks me out um, so obviously he does the the driving downtown or I take we call it tracks here I don't know what other places call it but it's not the train it's the, the things that replaced trains you know the the it's like a train but it's not a train <laughs> the word is like failing to come to my brain as to what it is like legitimately called so if you know let me know in the comments because my brain is having a complete and utter brain fart right now um but yeah if I go downtown by myself I usually will take tracks because I am not about to be driving downtown I hate it so much um so we'll probably just do a lot of walking because you know we'll see um, but that we're doing Friday into Saturday. That's when we're doing that. Um, and then, so Friday morning and early afternoon, I might just diamond paint and he'll play some games, do some laundry, you know, general housekeeping things, um, that 
that adulting crap that I try to avoid because I don't want to do it. Because <laughs> I'd rather be diamond painting. I might make myself a shirt. I don't know where we're going or what we're doing, but I'd rather be diamond painting. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, so we'll stay Friday and Saturday, and then again, so Saturday evening or late morning, and the rest of the day we'll probably. I don't know. Probably do more of the same. Or as he like or as Tim likes to call it, our new normal. Where he plays his game and I diamond paint. <laughs> um he's actually getting ready to do his own streaming on YouTube, which I'm really dumb with terminology. <laughs> so I asked him what the difference between streaming and going live was and apparently there's nothing different it's just the verbiage <laughs> so if you didn't know now you know <laughs> so he's getting ready to go stream stuff which he'll do um on his days off while i'm at work just like i am taking about an hour um to film, since he's not here. Um, I'm, I'm less self-conscious filming with him not in the house, just because I um, don't have to worry about him constantly going, huh? Are you talking to me? Although, if he knew I was filming, he probably wouldn't do that, but you never know. And he watches all my videos, bless his little heart, and so sorry babe, love you. Um, so yeah, super exciting times for us this weekend. I'm actually really excited to go downtown and spend the night. Because like I said, that's not something I've never done before. And so that will be kind of fun. Um, I did mention that I, I sorry, I, I started taking some notes of what I wanted to talk about to minimize the ums and the likes and the awkward pauses in hopes that I can fo form coherent sentences and not sound, I don't know, less like my, I say like and um a lot and I've never realized it until I started recording. Whew. It's out of control. So by t I'm hoping that by taking notes and keeping my little notepad right here that I can limit those likes and ums, but apparently not. Um, but I did mention that I did do my nails, and I was very excited about this because it was like six or eight weeks since I'd done them last, because I just didn't have it, you know, just didn't have the energy to do them. Because um, I do a few people's nails on the side, uh, you know, after I get home from work or whatever, and I just sometimes don't have it in me to do mine too. So I finally talked myself into it yesterday since it'd been so long and I basically needed oh crap, to do a new set anyway. I just talked myself into it, so I popped my nails off. If you have acrylics, this is my professional opinion, don't do that. But mine were so grown out that I was gluing more than half of them down because they kept popping off. That's how I know it's time for a new set. Um, so I just popped them off, finished my work week, or work day, and then came home and did my nails and had them done in like an hour and a half, so. I had Nikki nails to start with, that's why it didn't take me so long, so I was able to talk myself into it. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I really do enjoy doing nails, but you know, sometimes after working eight or more hours at work, Coming home and doing nails for another couple of hours does not sound appealing to me at all. <laughs> so I might just be telling my people, like, I'm sorry, mama needs a break. <laughs> Getting burned out, because when I don't even want to do my own nails, that's a, that's a sign. It's time for a break. Um, so yeah, that's 
my nails. Doggos, let's see, there's nothing really new to report as far as like them per se. I did get them a stinking cute hoodie, or we got them because Tim was with me. Uh, we got them these cute little hoodies and I actually have to take one back because I forget that Jacques has a little extra meat on his bones. <laughs> and so I got a 2X small for blue and an X small for Jacques. Got them home and the XX small was too small for blue and the, so I figured that X small would not um, fit Jacques. So I put the X small on blue and I'll take the X X small and trade it in for a bigger size for Jacques. Anyway, point of the story is not that my dog is fat. <laughs> Um, it's what the, the, the little hoodie says. So the it, little hoodie says, um, genuine mama's boy. And anyone who knows me and my dogs, they are big fat mama's boys. Um, and I'll insert a picture of the hoodie, um, before it was on the dogs. And then I will also insert a picture of our what I like to call, actually I just barely came up with it before while well, I was writing the notes for the video, but um, I'm going to start calling it my morning maulings <laughs> and I'll insert a picture of what I mean. They like to um, climb all over me and give me kisses in the morning, which, you know, is fine, but they, sometimes they get a little too assertive, <laughs> aggressive, no, nah, not aggressive, assertive with it. And I have to get firm because while I love doggy kisses, nothing makes me happier. Um, getting it first thing in the morning before you're fully awake and coherent is not the funnest. I even had some mornings, it doesn't happen often, but I have some mornings, especially after Tim has gone to work, you know, when he gets up and goes to work, and then my alarm goes off a few hours later. Um, Blue will hear my alarm, and he will start licking me right away, and I'm not even fully, like, I'm still somewhat asleep like I haven't even registered that my alarm's going off just yet like that's sometimes how quick he is about it bless his heart and I love him but could you let mom wake up first all the way <laughs> silly boys um yeah so they they got new sweaters hoodies whatever you want to call them um I need to get blue or Jacques exchanged. Um, or I guess technically it is blues that I need to get exchanged for a bigger size for size for Jockey Boy, because apparently he's a fatty. And you know what? I didn't realize that okay. So when I say that he's a fatty, like I don't think he's obese. He just compared to blue who's shorter and so much leaner, leaner than Jacques. When you put the two next to each other, Jacques looks obese, but I'm sure he really isn't. I need to take him to the doctor to find out for sure, but I'm pretty sure he's not. And if he is, well, that just means he's well loved, right? Um. So with it being Thanksgiving, that obviously means that it's fall. And I love fall. Um, 
best time of year in my opinion. The light jacket slash hoodie weather is my favorite. Um, but what I don't like that typically is right around the corner because Utah is bipolar in its weather sometimes. Thankfully though it hasn't happened this year just yet. We have not gotten any snow just yet so if it snows I'm so sorry I jinxed it. You can blame me. If you're in Utah and it snows you can jinx you can blame me because I jinxed it. But I don't actually I don't really mind winter either. So fall winter mostly fall but winter I don't mind. It's it's the snow that I hate. And I really don't even hate the snow. I just, if it could stay, and I may have mentioned this before, so if I've got a case of the repeaties, I'm so sorry. Um, water break. Oops, sorry. Bottle crinkled. Um, I need to wash my normal water bottle. My reusable one. I just haven't washed it yet. Um, but anyway... If the, wind, if the snow would just stay in, like, sorry, there's some trash I gotta dig out. Um, if the snow would just stay in the mountains and off the roads and sidewalks, I would be a very happy camper. Like, if I didn't have to scrape my car, psh, snow all you want. You know, like the Christmas song, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Sure, why not? But the fact that I have to scrape my car and people can't drive in the snow and they're jerks about it and, you know, anyway, I hate the snow. I don't mind winter, but I hate the snow. Also, I, here's my unpopular opinion that nobody asked for. <laughs> I hate pumpkin and pumpkin spice. I know, I'm like the only white person on the planet. Because what is it, basic white girl? You know, the pie, pumpkin spice latte and pumpkin spice everything. No, not this girl. I despise pumpkin and pumpkin spice. Um, I may have mentioned this before too, but the only way I will consume a pumpkin is in my mom's pumpkin roll. And that's usually generally only because it is slathered in her like cream cheese frosting filling stuff that she puts into it and then rolls it up and that's freaking delicious. Other than that, I'm not eating pumpkin. I don't like pumpkin cheesecake. I don't like pump. In fact, pumpkin cheesecake is just blasphemous. Okay. You ruined the cheesecake. Um, I don't like pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. I don't like pumpkin chocolate chip bread. I don't, I just, I don't. I do, however, oddly enough, I do like pumpkin seeds, but that's probably because it doesn't taste like pumpkin. You know, you salt them and you roast them. I don't know. I'm weird. It's fine. Um... Yeah, so I can't believe that uh, November is almost over. Um, I've had my channel up and going somewhat actively for a month, and that's just kind of crazy to me. Um, sorry, please hold while I look for this. Oh, there's more of it up there. Okay. Um, it's just kind of crazy to me that it's been over, it's been almost two months now. Like a month and a half. Anyway, kind of crazy. Um, going into December, I can't believe that... <laughs> Where did November go? Okay, let's be real. Where did the re this whole year go? Because sometimes I feel like it still should be like March or something. Time goes by so fast. It's so crazy. Um, cause you know, as a child, you hear parent people say, you know, hear adults say that all the time that, um, time goes by so quickly and you're like, yeah, yeah, whatever. No, it doesn't. Oh, it does. The older you get, 
the, the faster it goes, I swear. Um, so yeah, we're, we're leaving November in just a few days and we're going into, Decem into December, which my birthday is in December. It's actually two weeks exactly before Christmas. So if you can do the math, that makes it December 11th. <laughs> Of what year, I am not telling you, and I may have already mentioned how old I am, but I'm not reiterating it. <laughs> not because, like, I'm one of those people like, oh, I'm so old. Oh, I am. I, am. I feel old. Down in my soul, I, I'm old. I'm an old soul. I always have been. But, um, okay, I will tell you I'm in my 30s. But when I turned 30, because I was, oh, I was so happy to turn, like most people, like females are like, eh, I don't want to be 30, I, you know, I'll stay 29 forever. No, goodbye 30, or goodbye 20s, hello 30s. Like I was so excited because I was like, my 20s sucked. I got married, I got divorced, I, <laughs> I am ready to move on with my life. So I welcomed my 30s with open arms and decided that I was no longer, I, <laughs> instead of staying 29 forever, I'm staying 30 forever. So now I just have anniversaries. I don't have birthdays. I just have anniversaries of my 30th birthday. So every year, um, I told my cousin, so I have a cousin that is four days older than me. And every year since then, since our 30th birthday, every year he texts me on my birthday and he says, happy anniversary. <laughs> it's super cute and I like it. Um, I just, yeah, I just think it's cute that he you know, acknowledges that and is not being a jerk about it. Most people aren't. They actually think it's funny. Um, when I tell them that I don't have birth, I don't, I have anniversaries. I don't have birthdays. <laughs> um, I'm also not one of those people that really, like, makes a big to-do about my birthday. Like, it's my birthday month, I'm gonna party it up. And if that is you, that's great. That's just not me. Um, I actually got in a fight with, not like a serious fight, but a, a tiff, we'll call it a tiff, um, with Tim last year, because it was our first, you know, his first birthday together, that we were together, my first birthday that we were together, and I told him very point blank, like, I don't want to do anything for my birthday, like, I don't want to get together with anybody really, I just want it to be you and me, and this, that, and the other, and he's like, oh, okay, well, my mom's gonna want to do something for you with the family, I'm like, no, I don't want to do that, and he's like, well, why not, I'm like, because I don't, I don't need a big to-do about my birthday, like, we can just let it pass and, you know, people can text me, whatever, great. But I don't want people to feel obligated to, to, to do anything for me on my birthday. Like, I don't care. Like, as long as you and I, like, do, like, hang out, go to dinner, whatever, that's more than enough for me. But he was just, you're going to hurt my mom's feelings. And then the guilt settled in. And I was like, fine. Whatever. <laughs> and... She did her best not to make a big to-do about it, bless her heart. Because his, oh gosh, his mom's very sweet. And I'm not saying this, like, to rag on her or anything. Like, she's very, very sweet and I adore her. But she's one of those people that loves to plan parties and put plant parties together and have the theme going and da-da-da-da-da. And that's just not me. <laughs> never has been. Probably never will be. And again, if you are that way, that's fabulous. It's, it's just not my cup of tea. Um, anyway, she did her best to, to rein it all in. And then I'm not saying that she did, like went over the top or anything. It was very simple and very me. <laughs> But I just, I just don't like people making a big deal about my birthday. In fact, 
um, when I worked for the company that will not be named, the previous trucking company that I worked for, um, I used to, because I had PTO, that I had to, you know, basically use or lose, um, I would take the week of my birthday off. And actually for a few years, my sister would take my birthday off too. And we would just hang out. Like one year we watched all the Twilight movies and then went and saw the current one that was in the theaters. That was kind of fun. So we would just, you know, spend the whole day together and it was a lot of fun. But anyway, um, Yeah, so my birthday, I don't make a big deal with, or at least I try not to. Like, in fact, I was really hesitant when I started working at the company I work for now. I was really hesitant to even tell anybody my birthday because um, sorry, I thought I heard one of the dogs growling. But I was hesitant to tell anybody my birthday because I was like, I just, I don't want anybody to, you know, make a big deal out of it, because it's just another day, in my opinion. Like, it's nice that people wish me a happy birthday, but I don't, I don't know, I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to convey. <laughs> I think I'm just coming off as a jerk. Ugh, that's not how I mean it, you guys. Like, I just worry a lot about coming across the wrong way. Like I'm not expressing myself clearly or accurately <laughs> enough sometimes. I don't want to offend anybody because that's not my intention ever. Like I really, if I do offend somebody, I really don't mean to. I don't mean to hurt feelings. I just, apparently I have a little bit of my dad in me and my dad is very tactless and I try to be very tactful, but Sometimes it doesn't come across that way, I guess. Um, so, I'm very sorry. I don't mean to. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. Moving on. I'm trying to think what else there. I've gone through my list. I really thought that my list was going to be long enough for me to prattle on about and give me enough topics. But, apparently not. <laughs> um, oh, my nephew Zachary. So Zachary has, um, it's called Coolant of Reese syndrome. And, um, I want to say, I think it's like or it's similar to like Down syndrome in that it is a chromosome like mutation or something. You know, I keep telling myself that I'm going to look it up and write it down so I can remember, but no, I don't because I'm bad like that. Anyway, so Zachary texts me the other day and when Zachary texts anybody, I just love that kid so much. So he is, he just turned 20 in May, but developmentally, like mentally in his brain or whatever, he um, is only like, depending on what it is, he ranges from like six to eight years old, like mentally. So he's the forever child and he's stinking cute. So he, they got him a phone and he likes to text, which is perfectly fine. But when he texts, it cracks me up every time because, like, when he texts me, for example, he always, every single text message starts with, Zach, tell Aunt Janae. So, um, and he likes to quiz me on Disney movies. <laughs> like, he loves Monsters, Inc. So, he'll text me and be like, Zach, tell Aunt Janae. Why is Mike mad at Sully or something like that? And so I have to rack my brain because it's been a hot minute since I've seen Monsters, Inc. And, oh well, 
Mike is probably mad at Sully because of Boo. And, you know, things like that. Or he really loves um, Aladdin and the King of Thieves. And if you've never seen Aladdin and the King of Thieves, you're not really missing much. It was one of those, like, Disney ran with it. So there's, you know, Aladdin, the story that we all know. And then there's The Return of Jafar. And then there's Aladdin and the King of Thieves. And he will text me. That's not where that goes. He'll text me, you know. Zach, tell Aunt Janae. Um, Jerry Orbach does the voice for Saluk, which is the bad guy. And I text back, yes, Jerry Orbach did do the voice for Saluk. And then I usually try to throw in something like, Jerry Orbach also voiced Lumiere on on Beauty and the Beast. And then he usually replies with, Zach, tell Aunt Janae, what you talking about? <laughs> he hasn't quite learned the art of the conversation. But anyway, my point in all of this was that uh, his, his text messages make me giggle all the time. And they make me super happy. And sometimes he'll even call me. <laughs> And I'll be like, hi, Zachary. And then he's got a stutter too. So he goes, he'll go, uh, hi, Aunt, Aunt Nene. And I'll go, why are you, you know, what can I help you with or what do you need? And he goes, uh, and then sometimes he'll hang up the phone on me. <laughs> Oh, and he's just the cutest. And anyway, point of my story was that his text messages all start with Zach, tell Aunt Janae, every single one. And it makes me so, so happy. And he's cute. He's got this quite, he's got quite the imagination. And he'll send me these like stories that he writes about um, other characters from like Pluto and Wendy from uh, Peter Pan. He also Mickey's dog Pluto and Wendy from Peter Pan. They've got a secret handshake and he's trying to figure out what it is and he'll write a story about that and he'll write he loves um, Emma Watson. So he'll write about these stories about Emma Watson and then he'll refer to her as Belle not necessarily Emma Watson and then he'll refer to her again as Emma Watson. It's just it's super cute to watch his little creative mind come together and what he comes up with and it's super cute. Kids are freaking amazing, I tell ya. And I love them. I love my nieces and nephews to pieces. Um, let's see. Um, there's nothing really new to update you guys on as far as like Tim and I's life because nothing really changes terribly much week to week, day to day. Like the most exciting thing we got going on is the fact that we're doing that staycation. Um, I do have some news that I want to share, but I need to double check with someone before I share said news since this is going on the interwebs and such things, um, and you never know who's going to stumble across these things, right? Um, so please hold, and hopefully that all pans out, that I can share it. Um, if not, just forget we have this conversation. Uh, let's see... Awkward silence, crickets in the background. Um, hey, if you're in the Utah area, I'm just going to plug this real fast because <laughs> it's just popped into my head and I thought it would be kind of funny, but like for reals though, um, <laughs> you live in Utah, Salt Lake particularly, and have a CDL and looking for a job, hit me up. <laughs> my work's hiring. This driver shortage, it's going to be the death of me. Oh. Uh, because, oof, 
people were understanding to a point last year and now they just are a bunch of Karens. They don't, they're, they're done being polite and understanding and they're just turning into these dill holes and I can't take it anymore. So hit me up if you need a job and you have a CDL because yeah, we're a Utah only company. You'll be home every night and they're great. I love the people that I work for. They're some of the kindest, most generous people in the whole world. Like my, the owner of the company, he has tickets to, he holds, I think, season tickets to the Utah Jazz. And he could not find, a, sometimes he'll give them away to customers that ship regularly with, with us. And he couldn't find anybody to, you know, or he couldn't think of anybody to give the tickets to. So he asked me, he's like, does Tim like the jazz? And I said, yep. And he's like, would you guys want to go to a jazz game? Sure. So he gave the jazz tickets to me and we got to go to the jazz game on Monday. They played the Memphis Grizzlies and lost by one point. <laughs> But the seats were really good, and the food was really good, and it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. Kind of sucked that the jazz lost, but I don't care that much. <laughs> I was more, like, ex oh, excuse me. I was more excited to be out with my babe, having a, having a fun night out and about, not doing the same old thing. Not that I don't mind doing the same old thing every day. Like, I'm very much a creature of habit. And that doesn't bother me one bit to do the same thing day in, day out. But sometimes variety is nice. Or so I keep being told. <laughs> um, the sport that I follow is hockey. And I don't even follow it that, like, religiously slash close. So... Um, yeah, so that was a lot of fun. Um, I can't really think of anything else to say. I, I again, I didn't finish the section, but that's okay. I'll keep plunking along on it, and then hopefully when we do this again, I can work on this section. Um, and I will, my... Uh, Tim's work schedule is changing for the next month, so I might be getting a few more videos up. So look for that. And I guess I will talk to you guys next time. Have If you are in the United States and you celebrate Thanksgiving, um, have a fabulous Thanksgiving. I know I will. Be safe in your travels, um, have a good weekend, and I will see you guys next time. Um, be sure to look, like, uh, click like and subscribe and the bell so you're notified when I upload my videos. If you enjoyed this craziness, um, remember to be kind and patient with others and let's, let's make America kind again because it costs, or even the world, let's just make the world kind again because it's zero dollars um, to be kind and a decent human being. So, with that in mind, y'all have a fabulous weekend and enjoy your night. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!